recently giving myself a spa day, at home spa day, you know, I had a rough week. Um, and just imagine it, you know, and a lot of people do this, um, a lot of people are experiencing burnout, um, they don't really know how to just fully relax. Um, I will tell you that a weekend away from work is not going to just cure you for the next week. Um, so I can sympathize with you, but um, I figure I'll take you along with my spa day today and I'll show you some of the things that I do to relax and get my mind off things. All the products in this video today is from a company called Beauty Cup & Co. Um, I have been using Beauty Cup & Co for the past year and a half now um, and I will never go back or use anything from Ulta or anything like that. Now, you can use things from Ulta, of course, but I would rather shop local and uh, shop organic. Yeah, this water is really hot, and as you can see, um, it's super sudsy in here, so I'll get into some of the products that I use, why I use them, and just show you what I do. So, let's get started. All of her links, website, where to buy her products will be in the description. Um, and I'll just kind of go over why I use them. I will put a disclaimer before I really dive deep into this video. Um, everything I use and how I use them is for me. It's been proven with my skin that I am able to use these products in this way. If you are unsure if you can use these products, always go on her website and look at the ingredients per each product. And if you have any questions, um, Corey Ann, who is the owner of Beauty Cup & Co, um, does free skin consultations. So I'll put her email also in the description box below so you can send her an email and schedule that one-on-one -on -one with her. So first things first, I like to soak in the bathtub, which I've been doing for a little while now. Um, and then as soon as I feel ready to move and do something, um, I start to exfoliate and first I start to exfoliate with my legs. Um, I'm not going to zoom in but I need to shave um, so that is what I'm going to do. I have a couple of products behind me that I am going to be using today so as far as exfoliating my legs and getting them ready for me to shave um, I am going to start with her baby skin cucumber polish. I will be putting all the pictures of the products close up um, somewhere on the screen. So this baby skin cucumber polish um, is primarily for the face, but you can use this throughout the rest of your body. And uh, I actually don't use this on my face. I use this specifically to exfoliate my legs before I shave. So you can use this anywhere, including the face. Um, so yeah, that is what I like. It's a multi-purpose product that gives me multiple uses and it's in a big tub. Um, it's five fluid ounces, so this is gonna last me a really long time. It is currently available on her website to purchase under facial care. Polish 
and exfoliate the rest of my body. So up here, my stomach, my arms, um, and then, yeah, I will also take the Sweet Cheeks Buck Scrub Exfoliate Butt. Um, so, but one thing I did want to show you guys before I kind of cut to that um, is I wanted to show you a, another exfoliating body wash that she sells. It is her Candy Whipped Wash. Um, first of all, oh, whipped sugar wash, I'm sorry. Um, first of all, I have the one that smells like grapefruit. It is the most heavenly smelling type of body wash I have ever smelled. <laughs> um, and it literally is what the label says it is. It is a whipped wash. So I'm gonna open this up so you can see what it looks like. It's like butter. Please do not use this on your face. This is strictly for your body, but I'll show you how it works. So it's just like butter. You're gonna scoop it out. Like so. And then I'm just gonna put it in my dominating hand here. So it's right there. And I'm gonna get it wet. And then I'll just rub together. And it starts to lather, just like that. So good. I'm not gonna waste this though, so I'm actually just gonna do my arms really quick. <sighs> so smooth, I smell so good. I'm getting my famous sweat mustache because I am so hot here right now. <laughs> that is basically what I'm using today for the spa day. Um, what I'm actually going to do is just go over a couple of products here that I have that I sometimes interchange or switch out on what I'm feeling that day. And also, just so you know, the Sweet Cheeks Butt Scrub that I already talked about, these are a bit available in bigger sizes on her website right now under hair and body care. All right, so the reason why you see so many bubbles in my bath today what I actually poured in from the beginning, if you didn't catch that, is the foaming bath potion. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what the scent of this is. All I know is that it does smell really good. It's very soothing, it's very calming. Editing Shannon here. Uh, I do know the scent as I was trying to get the video up to show you the pricing and information. No wonder why the foaming bath potion I have smells so good because I got it in my favorite scent, which is Witch's Woods. It's amazing. I believe it's only a fall scent and it's like just the best scent in the world. <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's not like bath salts. Um, it's just strictly like a bubble bath type deal in the form of crystals. So that's that. Um, that's what I used at the beginning. Um, another thing that I will interchange is this right here. If I'm feeling really sore or I just need to actually soak in the bath for like an hour or two, I will use her Milk and Honey Tubby Tea. She actually uses this with her children. Um, so it is kid safe, which is super nice. Um, and I will literally just sprinkle it in here and soak. Now I don't believe it actually foams bubbles like this. Um, every time I've used it, it's never done that. It's strictly just a soak. Um, and I do, correct me if I'm wrong, Corey, in the comments, but I'm pretty sure these are what you consider bath salts. So um, this has milk and honey in it, of course, as it's in the name. I haven't seen this on her website in a while. I'm hoping it does come back. But if you live in the area of Taunton, Massachusetts, you can actually get these in person at a local boutique called Mirror Mirror. So, I will link their business in the description box below as well. So if I don't want a sudsy bath and I don't want to soak and um, repair my sore muscles, I will choose a bath bomb. So I've got two that I haven't used yet. Um, of course, this one I bought, it smells really good. Um, if there are any available on our website, they should be under the body and hair care section. Um, but it, the bath looks really nice when you put this in and it just 
the smell is to die for, of course. I mean, <laughs> duh. Um, anyways, so actually this bath bomb I didn't even purchase. The last thing I got from her, she just kind of threw it in there. It's another thing I like about Corey is she is just so thoughtful and caring. She'll just kind of sneak little surprises in here and there. Um, this bath bomb, I don't want to use it because I love it so much and the smell is so strong that I leave it in my drawer and my whole bathroom just smells like this. So I don't want to use it because I love it so much. But at the same time, I will use it eventually. Um, her bath bombs are awesome. So if you haven't yet picked one up, give them a try. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about here um, is her organic soaps. So not the soaps that started it all, but just some organic soap. Um, this one is in the scent Watermelon Lemonade. I haven't used it yet because same thing, smells super good and I just don't want to waste it. But she's always keeping these stocked on her website. Again, these types of soaps will be under body and hair care. You don't want to use these types of soaps on your face. Just keep it strictly to the body. Um, there are certain soaps that are kid friendly. I'm not sure if all of them are. Corey, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah. But uh, right now, I'm gonna just focus on exfoliating, washing up, just finishing the rest of my little spa relaxation. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, now that that is squared away and I'm out of the tub, I feel so nice and refreshed. I actually just took a time out, got my body temperature down a little bit because wearing this type of robe, I sweat like a pig. <laughs> um, so I just needed to get my body temperature down, lay down on the bed for a second, and now I'm back up in Adam. So after I get out of the tub, shower, whatever, the next thing I'd like to do, because I don't do, I don't wash or exfoliate my face in the tub, um, I'm gonna do that over here by the sink now that I'm out. Um, there's a special towel that I use to kind of dry my face off, which is this little microfiber towel right here, which you can also get on our website. Um, it's super inexpensive, by the way. Um, so yeah, I use that to dry off my face. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first, I'm gonna first cleanse the face um, with another cucumber-based product. This is the Botanical Bubbles Cucumber Cleanser right here. I'm actually almost out. I should be getting the refill in the mail today. Um, so yeah, it's a very gentle face wash. I use this in the morning. Um, I don't use this at night because I have another type of nightly routine. But since it's during the day right now, I'm gonna be using the botanical bubbles to um, cleanse the face. When I exfoliate my whole body during a spa day, I also like to exfoliate the face as well. So I will also use the Paradise Polish as well. The, this is a face only exfoliant. I think you can use this throughout your body, but I just use it for the face. Um, it's with jadoba and coconut, so it um, exfoliates on the surface level. So what I like to do is I actually like to pair both of these, which that's kind of what the cucumber polish is. It's a combination of the paradise polish and the cucumber cleanser. But for some reason, the jojoba beads in that aren't as rough as the paradise polishes. And um, I like to really scrub my face because I don't know, I don't know if you're gonna see, especially since I'm like sweating, but if I get really close, you can see my pores. My I have huge pores right now, and I have my whole life because my mom does. So I really like to get in there and just scrub those pores. <laughs> so I'm going to wash the face, combine these two together, and uh, yeah, I'll just kind of show you how that works here.
So the next thing I do, which it's not recommended to do this at all, um, actually. I do it because my skin can take it and um, yeah, that's really about all there is to it. I definitely would talk to Corey about it when you do your one-on-one -on -one skin consultation. But after I wash the face, exfoliate, do what I need to do, I put a facial mask on, um, which, you know, after you exfoliate, that's not really the best thing that you should be doing for your skin. Like I said, I do it because my skin can tolerate it. But if you have super sensitive skin, I just truly recommend you not doing that at all. Or if you want to do it, um, just consult with Corey and kind of discuss what your skin type falls under, whether it's super sensitive or super rough. She'll tell you if you can or cannot do that. So um, I'm going to do that. This is actually her newest mask that she just came out with. This is her Glow Up Papaya Enzyme Mask. Um, if you have known about her company, if you have known about her company since the Wicked Dope Soap days, um, you know that there has been a charcoal mask called Triple C Mask. She has since discontinued that mask. This is kind of this mask, that mask's upgrade. <laughs> um, it's not charcoal, but it's super awesome for the face. Um, and it smells hella good. So it's actually white. It's the complete opposite color wise. I'm only gonna be using this once or twice a week. So just kind of take that for what it is. I'm gonna put this on my face. Editing Shannon again. So what's worse about this part is that this new mask that I tried that day, I just didn't read the description, which I should have. I just thought it was like her normal facial masks. So the Glow Up Papaya, um, clay mask that I use from her is an actual exfoliating mask. So I really shouldn't have done that that day. My skin ended up being okay, even though I double exfoliated on my face with the Paradise Polish and with that mask. But just keep that in mind um, when you use this mask, that it's an exfoliating mask. So you don't want to use any retinol products with it. Um, not even within the same day, just use that mask for exfoliating and don't use Paradise Polish before or after this product either. Oh, it is just so thick and so nice. That's what she said. <laughs> oh Cover up the I also changed my birth control, so I'm having some acne issues right over here. I think it's the hormones, um, and the, it's the generic brand, but I think just the change in that has been making me break out a little bit, so. So yeah. All right, so we need to leave this mask on for about five to seven minutes. And as I'm waiting for this mask to kind of do its thing, I am going to show you how I moisturize my skin after I get out of that Whirlpool hot tub type deal and after I exfoliated for the day. So I'll show you some products that I use to kind of moisturize the skin, make it all silky smooth. All right, two of some of my most favorite products. I hope that the lighting is acceptable right now. Um, so. We got, I'm going to moisturize my legs after shaving in the rest of my body since I exfoliated everywhere today. So um, anywhere that I have shaved, um, just because I do, some, I do have sensitive skin throughout my whole body, um, I will use her Boo Boo Butter for my legs. So where I've shaved anyways, I actually only shaved like right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to use the boo-boo butter on all of my bottom part of my leg, and then to moisturize the rest of my body and the upper half of my leg, I will use her body candy butter. If you went on her website right now, these two products are not available. 
just simply because it is still a little too hot out. These are like butters. If they get too hot, they will melt. Um, they lose that aesthetic appearance. The cooler months are coming though, and she will be restocking these on her website. Um, What's awesome too is these are available for purchase in person at that boutique we were talking about earlier, Mirror Mirror. So if you live in the area in Massachusetts, make sure you call ahead before you go, but pick some up in person. All right, so you're gonna take it. The warmth of my hand is already starting to melt it on my finger. So I'm literally just going to rub together. And it literally just looks like butter, if you could see that. So I am going to All right, and just so you know, boo-boo butter is unscented. It's for strict boo-boo stretch marks, cuts, bruises for babies' bottoms, um, babies. Um, you can also use the boo-boo butter on uh, dogs' little pads, little paw pads. The body candy butter goes on the same way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to moisturize all of my body, and then I'll see you again for when I take my papaya glow up mask off. And before I move on with my normal daytime skincare routine, I'm gonna exfoliate my lips because I do do that twice a week. Um, and on my spa days are the days are when I do, are one of the days that I do them. So that's what I do. Um, the product that I'm gonna be using is also from Beauty Cup & Co. She does not have any of these on her website right now, but they are being sold at Mirror Mirror and Unique Boutique. So. Alright. Has her old name on it. It's the Wicked Dope Soap. really about it for my little spa day that I kind of made for myself this morning. Um, although it's been nice to relax this morning, I do need to go out and go grocery shopping and then uh, work out later. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. All of the products used in this video will be listed in the description box below um, with the different types of scents that I bought if they come in different scents. Um, and um, some honorable mentions because I did have another type of product in this video today that is not Beauty Coven Co related, so I'll put that company down below as well. I can't stress this enough, um, just wanted to say one last time that all the products that I use in the order that I use it, I use it on my skin only because my skin can tolerate it. Um, if you are unsure or if you have really, really bad sensitive skin, I would really utilize that free one-on-one um, -on -one skin consultation with Corey. Um, I believe she takes inquiries um, on her email. So like I said, I will put that email down in the description box for, low to, for you to s try and set something up with her. This video, the first video of a series that I'm going to be doing with her skincare um, is just a love letter to her and um, just me kind of talking about how amazing her products are and how they actually work. Um, Corey not only is a licensed esthetician, but she has 10 years plus of experience behind her. So she knows what she's doing, she knows what she's talking about, and everything that she creates is handcrafted in the comfort of her own home. This video is not sponsored, she's not paying me to do this. This is just a video that I've been wanting to do for a while, all the way back when we still lived at our old house. Um, I just, life got in the way and I just never ended up actually finishing that video and posting it. She didn't even know I was making this video until I tagged her in some Instagram stories saying that I was doing it. So just a personalized message for Corey herself. Um, I found this skin company during a time where I was at my darkest and um, I didn't really have that much control over my life, but when I discovered her skincare, 
I didn't really even care about my skin. I didn't even know the ins and outs of caring for it. Um, her skincare made me feel like I was at least in control of something. Um, so I just want to send a personalized thank you to her and say that you've changed my life. Ah, I don't want to get emotional. Ah, you've changed my life for the better and I will always support you and I'm just so glad that you're doing this and you've just come such a long way. You deserve it, you beautiful, kind soul. Thank you guys again so much for watching and um, just to give some closing announcements here, my all of my fitness programs are still 10% off if you pay the first three months up front. That sale is gonna go throughout the rest of September and then once October starts, um, not even my lowest program, lowest costing program will be available anymore. So take advantage of that sale. If you're new or lurking, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It'll kind of let me know that you want to see ongoing things from Beauty Cub & Co. in the future. Check out my Instagram. Give me a follow at sbumpfit. And also check out our business venture Instagram at Bump and Fitness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.